All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving yesterday. Yes, it is Friday. It's Black Friday. Ooh. Black Friday, and we're not out shopping. No. Heck no, we ain't out shopping. <laughs> we got all the stuff we could dream of. Yeah, besides the last video, we said we're just going to pick from our death, yeah. from our uh, inventory for Christmas presents, that's right? That's right, that's right. Okay, yeah, we have a lot going out. We have a Black Friday, not Black Friday, we have a Thanksgiving weekend sale. Who are we first? Oh, we're Happy Our Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. <laughs> we're retime, retime. <laughs> Full sellers, <laughs> full time resellers in Re Lincoln, Nebraska. Rehomers of stuff. Nebraska. See that? <laughs> I'm a little sad, a little, little sad. Why? It's already, you wait all year for football season. It's already Nebraska's last game, except for the bowl game. They're going to the bowl <gasps> what? game. What? Yeah, Nebraska's going to the bowl game. Yes. First time in how many years? Uh, Ten a years? Lot, like eight, I think. Eight. Something. But anyway, so yeah, all you wait all year and you wait all year and then football season's here and then tonight is the last regular season game. It's okay. I know it's okay. I'll <laughs> I'll be okay. But anyway, we got a lot going on. We have eighteen new pins to put on the we map do. from you viewers. We we're love it. Do that. Yeah, we're gonna knock that out first because we just put the pins in. We have a topic today. We have we are running a Thanksgiving weekend sale. We're gonna tell you where we got that idea, exactly what we are doing, yes. and we're gonna give a shout out to one of our viewers for sending us a message and turning us on to another channel that we'd never heard of before that gave us some great ideas, we think. So uh, we're gonna get into all that and more. And more. And even a bonanza sale oh, on ooh. Happy Heart Treasure. Stick yes. with us. <clears throat> All right, Donna, you want to do your map? Yes, let's do right. the map. Are you ready? 18 more pins. Okay. Crazy. We love it. Absolutely okay. love it. Lots and lots and lots. Okay, first off, we have Doris in Oregon, somewhere up here. I don't know the time. Yep, so we put you in the middle of Oregon. Gray and Grams. Sorry, that was Gray the, and Gramps Treasures in Garland. They have Garland. an eBay store, Garland, Nebraska. Sorry, they're, they're really close. Here's Lincoln, but you know, it's we want to put a pin in for everybody, so it's just going to keep spreading out, I guess. <laughs> the Butcher's Wife, Tiffany in Chickasha, Oklahoma. Oklahoma another Oklahoma. Yeah. Oklahoma got hammered the other day with pins, which was great. Snaggle Crate in Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee, right there. One in Westminster, Colorado. Colorado showing up. Had Didn't have Colorado before. And Karen in Greeley, Colorado. Yep, right there, two of them. Vicki in Alverton, Ohio. I don't Ohio. know if I said that right. Ohio. Ohio. Oh, right there. <laughs> Ohio. <laughs> Becky in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, over there on the west side. PM Cantrell in Kentucky somewhere. Yep, so we got another in the middle of Kentucky. And then we have two checking in from Michigan. We have Patsy, and we also have Christy and Layla Pup yes. from Michigan. Yep. We have Deb in West Branch, Michigan. Oh, another Michigan right there. We have Gucci 413 in Hopedale, Massachusetts. Oh, way over. New one in Massachusetts. Didn't have Massachusetts before. Flipping with Amy in Houston, Texas. Houston. We've been to Houston before. Gen X Things in Tucson, Arizona. Tucson? I don't, we might have been to Tucson. We went to Arizona once when our kid lived there. Yeah. And this one, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but T. Voigt Cats in Ottawa, Ontario, the capital of Canada. Which is right there, <laughs> second one from Ontario. Yes, we did We did find out that, yes, it is the capital of Canada. <laughs> Alvina in Roanoke, Virginia. Roanoke, Virginia, another Virginia. And the last one is Mike Benson, St. Clair Shores, Michigan. Another Michigan. I think that's the one on the east side over there. Yeah, so we had a lot of new new estates and we had so yeah this is fun you yeah. guys this has been more fun than i thought it'd be because all because of you guys commenting that's it's really crazy that's crazy so let Absolutely us know love it. in the comments where you're from and if you don't leave your real name we'll just use your username yep but yeah put it right. in the comments where you're from let's put the map back and let's start pulling orders we have 20 things yes. on a friday which is really really good and we'll explain why too would you say we had 20 on a friday and that's after a holiday yeah 20 items we actually have 21 because we have a bonanza sale oh yeah or as amy from beach buy and repeats likes to say banana it's a sale. banana sale <laughs> but yeah so we have 21 going out and the first one um is a big box we have several big things we have okay. some little things we have big things 
Tell you what, I got a lot of things to ship today. Well, then you better get busy. And one of the big things is the very first thing that we have right there. Tell us about it. <laughs> You're my Vanna White. Oh, I'm the Vanna White. Right there, we got this in Kansas, right, Donna? <laughs> yes. We paid 25% off of 75 Yeah, it was marked we... $75, and Steve showed it to me, and then he walked away. He said, it's too big. I'm not going to get it. <laughs> we walked clear back across the store, and he says, dang it. I said, what? He says, I'm going to go get it. And then we went to check out, and it was 25% off. And then we think we got it for 25% off, and, and then 20% off And then 20% off, of off the total order, because we're new. Is that what it was? I think it was. I think it was. Okay, so anyway, whatever that math comes out to be, I'm going to say around 40 bucks. And this sold for $150.50 plus shipping. And it right is there. new, Brand sealed. Brand new sealed. Yeah. Yep. All right, next up, we're going to box 19. 19. Notice some of the boxes are gone. Yes, I've used a lot of them, and then I have some big things going today, so... We're going to be using a lot of these now. I won't have to kick them out of the way. This is going to be in the little bag, I believe. These are just Salad Master pieces. These are handles from Salad Master Pot. And it sold for $22.49, going to Missouri. Ruth and Larry got a bag of two of these and two of the other ones. Or uh, the top. The top. The, the top, top sold handle. the other day, yeah. too, when we weren't filming. And so... Yeah. Don't look even past if, Salad Master parts. Yeah, even if you find a Salad Master pan and the pan is trashed and you don't think you can clean it, you can pull the parts off. That's $22.49 for that, and I think the knob sold for $10 or $12, yeah. so pretty good find. All right, we have one clothing item, number 842. Okay. We're going to have to have a clothing listing day. Yeah, I know. This is a uh, GCW wrestling t-shirt. And it sold for $12.11 going to South Carolina. That's a 3X. That's a good size. Okay. All right. We have a Lamax uh, Ashton Engine Company Firehouse. All right. This was exclusively made for Dillard's by Lamax. It's a Winter Glen by Dillard's Firehouse. And that sold for $35. And it's going to Kansas. All right, Donna, some more uranium. Nice. Uh, box 31. Nice, nice, nice. Looking for a set of five six-inch dessert plates. They're, they look like this. There's five of them. And they glow. Yep, so we're going to... Here's a picture of what they look like in the dark under a black light. And those sold for $20, and they are headed out the door going to Texas. We have some other breakable, really interesting plates coming up in box R. These are some plates that Donna picked up at a garage sale, and I thought, what is that crap? And we've sold them, we sold one set already, and now we have another set. Oh, you, yeah, you didn't like me for getting those. That's not them, I don't think. Are they the white ones? Oh, no, they're the bees. Yeah. He always cringes when I pick up glass at a garage sale. <laughs> but I'm used to it. But... As the saying goes, look at these. If it looks a little weird, it'll mm. probably sell. Yeah, there's a set of four of these. They're Turkish blue glass iridescent nine inch oyster shell uh, plates or dishes or whatever. It's sold for $28 plus shipping, and they're heading out the door going to Tennessee. Nice. All right, next up in box 46. Uh oh. It's almost empty. That's a good thing because we can fill Need back up. some more empty ones. This is a lot of two Harry Potter Quidditch Cup uh, trading cards. Oh. These. Right there. We got these from a clean out and we sold those for $29.99 plus shipping going to California. What year are these? You, Your glasses are on your head. I know, but I can. T I, if I hold it way back here, <laughs> I don't see a year. 2001. 2001. Yeah. Box T, something from Air Park. That's been a long, 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 long time. It might have been a long time, but you know what? I think there's still a couple boxes from Air Park in the storage <laughs> unit. <laughs> That'd be funny. That we haven't done yet. Uh, you're looking for a ball glove, a really old vintage, vintage ball glove. Right there, this is an old McGregor ball glove. 
Uh, and this sold for $19.99, and it's going to New York. That's cool. Okay. Box MM. Oh, that feels light, too. Very good. That means we're selling stuff. Uh, this comes from Raven Circle. You're looking for a piggy bank? I think it's a There's, piggy bank. The only thing left in here is a wicker, wicker girls, or yep. wheat girls. Okay. Well, hopefully they'll sell today. Yes. Okay. So this is a walrus and penguin. It's the day for unusual. Yeah, look at that. Walrus and penguin. It's a little piggy bank with the, without the stopper. Yeah. And it sold for $17.99, and it's going to Ohio. That's cool. The next item we have is one of the big items that we have to ship, and this sold I, I was thinking it was listed too high well we are doing a sale that we're going to talk about right mm -hmm. after we show you what it is and it sold on this sale this thanksgiving weekend sale and so i think that's the only way it was going to move i think i just had it priced too high well, let's us let us show you what it is look look, look how big it is yeah. so this oh, is how are we going to do that does this vintage, lay down vintage nylon uh, this, I think I can actually take it apart. And I might have put in the listing that it will come with the crane disassembled. Um, Nylant Vintage Shovel Crane. Here's the name. Here's the other side. Uh, right there, the little crane. Everything works fine. And it sold for $104.99. And it is going to Mississippi. Oh, wow. Pretty cool, huh? That's cool. So, yeah, I get to ship that baby today, <laughs> and that's okay. Good thing you have a lot of big boxes. Yes. All right, this brings us to the topic that we are going to discuss today for a minute. A uh, lot of different ways that you can eBay, and what is right and what is wrong. Just like in the example... The wife is right. The wife is usually right. <laughs> uh, the example of the lighter last time in the last video, we had 10 different offers, and there were so many different answers, and you guys all responded with what you would do. We had all varying responses from, we yeah. had take the $65, you only paid a dollar for it. We had go ahead and counter everybody else higher. We had decline all of them because you're going to get the full price with that much interest. We ended up getting 68 for it, mm -hmm. I think. But there was all these different answers and, you know, none of them were wrong. It all depends on what you would like to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because in eBay, just like in life, there's one, more than, this is an old saying that never made sense to me. There's more than one way to skin a cat. No, there's really not. <laughs> <laughs> Who's skinning cats anyway? Right? I mean, that's just a weird saying. Yeah. But anyway, this brings me up to, I was going to tell a little story from my prior work experience. So what I did, I worked, okay. As some of you may know, before I worked here, I worked for uh, Pepsi. I worked for a beverage company here in town. And I would go into stores and I would order things, right? I would do the orders and then somebody would deliver it. So in this instance, I'm going to tell you about, I would go into, I had one Walmart. I did an out-of-town route. I had one Walmart, and I would go in, and I would do the order to have it delivered and everything else. So I'd go in there twice a week, and I would get all check all the back stock. I'd fill it all up, and I'd get the order for the next day, right? So we had a way of doing things. I, I was doing a really good job. I only had one Walmart, never had a Walmart before. I was doing a really good job. My bosses were like praising me with, hey, you're doing a great job. You're, you're doing, knocking it out of the park, right? So I had a boss that showed up one day because they would every now and then pop in and do like kind of like a ride along, but they'd go to a couple stores with you. So this boss came with me, met me at Walmart to go in. Now remember, I'm doing a great job, right? So we go in and we did all of our orders on iPads. And so we'd punch in all the things and there was a lot of different options. I'm not gonna get too far into the weeds here, but when I would go in, I would make all my notes and all my back stock, what I needed in the store from the back stock and everything. I'd do it all on my iPad and then I'd go and I'd pull it. And then on my, you know, I'd make my notes in the store on my iPad and then I'd go to the back and I'd do my order. Everything on the iPad, right? So when we got taught this, the old school way of doing it, like before there were the iPads was they had a piece of paper and it had categories, every single item on there. And you'd make, you know, take a pencil and you'd make your notes on there. So this boss of mine came in with me and he's like, well, you don't use paper. I said, no, I do it on the iPad. Like just easier for me. He's like, no, 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 you need to do paper. So he went out to his car and he got paper sheets for me. And he's like, you need to do it this way. And he showed me how 
to do it. And he's like, this is just way more efficient, blah, blah, blah. And so I was like, okay. He's like, and he told me, you have to do it this way. I didn't understand why, but I thought, whatever. Okay, I'll try that. So he did that, left me with a stack of papers. And I did it for a little while. Like the next two, three weeks, I tried it on paper. And to me, it wasn't as efficient because it was another thing I'm dealing with. So eventually I went back to just do an iPad because it was working for me. Everybody was happy with the job I was doing. Uh, about a month or two later, he called me on Walmart day and he's like, Hey, I'm going to meet you at Walmart again. And I'm like, okay, no big deal. I didn't think nothing of it. So I went in there and we go to the aisle and I get my iPad out. He's like, you're not using paper. I'm like, no, I tried it. Didn't work for me. This just works so much better for me. So this is what I'm doing. And I got threatened to be wrote up. And he told me, if you don't use paper, if I catch you not doing it on paper again, I will write you up. That's all I'm going to say about that. It doesn't matter if I'm doing it on paper or if I'm doing it on iPad. If the end result is you're doing a good job, it doesn't really matter because there's more than one way to get a job done. And that goes for eBay too. You can take them offers. You can counter offer. You can not counter offer. You can do sales. You can do coupons. You can do, um, you can take offers. You can turn offers off and not take any offers. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Find what best works for you and you just go with that. Kind of like that example there is what I'm talking about. So all that to say, and this is leading up to what we learned and what we're, we're going to tell you about we learned Wednesday night before Thanksgiving. I want to, let's bring Donna back in here because we want to give a shout out to one of our viewers. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's Wednesday night, the night before Thanksgiving. We spent a it's lot of time. It's not Wednesday night right now, but no, 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 no. on Wednesday night. I'm, I'm telling the story of two oh, nights ago. On, on the night before Thanksgiving. Yes. All through the house, it was clean. We cleaned the whole house because we had Thanksgiving here. We had yeah. about a 10, I think we had 10 people 10 here. 10 people. And it was a good, we had a good Thanksgiving. We had a lot of fun. We had a little card tournament. It was a lot of fun. But the night before, we had done all our work and we're sitting down and we're watching a couple YouTube videos. And I get an email. And Hokey Oki is a viewer that we have in Oklahoma. Yeah. It's Ron and Jen. And so Jen sent us an email out of the blue, really randomly. And, you know, not a, not a YouTube comment, but an email. Yes. So I'm like, what is this? And she sent an email and she's like, hey, I'm watching this video that I found. It just got released today. And I thought of you guys. And I thought, you know, it's just talking about different ways and trying to get your Thanksgiving weekend yeah. uh, sale built up. So yeah. you might be interested, you might not. And we're like, okay, we'll check it out. So we pulled up the video and the, the channel name, I'd never heard of him before. Uh, the channel name is Resellutions. Yeah. It's like resolutions, except it's sell Resell. in the middle. Yeah. And he is a uh, eBay seller. And we watched this video that he had put out. We started the video, we started to watch it. And then we said, hold up, push pause, got out the notes and stuff, and then rewound it and watched it again. So we yeah. get it right. And it was a story, it was a, it was a video about what he's doing for Thanksgiving weekend. Yeah. And he's running, so what he's doing, and then we actually copied it because we thought, you know what, we were we had a 50% off sale. We were just doing 50% off on the oldest stuff. Yeah. Um, so we ended that sale. And so what he's doing, he talked a lot about being married to your product. Um, your job is to move products. So, you know, unless, unless it's something that you, you know, rare that you can hold your, out for top dollar. Your job is to rehome that stuff. Yes, to rehome it. So he ran a 30% off sale on selected categories, selected items. And then on top of that, he's doing a 10% coupon. We never done a coupon weekend. before. I tried to set up a coupon <clears throat> once when they first came out and I didn't do it right. So I've just never bothered doing that. So he has a 30% off sale on selected categories and then a 10% off coupon for Thanksgiving weekend. So that's two of the three things. There's three things he talked about. And the so- The coupon is automatic, isn't it? They don't have to click on anything. Yeah, the, the coupon is automatic. So we changed it. We Donna went through and she picked like 350-ish items that we put on 30% off. Yeah. And then we were running a 10% off coupon. I thought I thought all this time that if you did a coupon, it was something that was, it, it would say it on there, but they'd have to enter it in. But it looks like- I think you can probably do, you can probably set it up different ways. I didn't see any other way to set it up. If you we know, a, tell us. Yeah, we had a coupon code, but it just automatically- Comes off. Is an automatically 10% off coupon on every single item. So even stuff we listed just 
three days ago is ten yeah. percent off. Mm -hmm. So, and we're like, you know what? Screw it. Let's see if we can move some items. And here it is on Thanksgiving. Throughout the day, we got several cha-chings, and we're selling things all through the and day. Then which last night, <laughs> which surprised us for Thanksgiving. Like we knew we'd get a few sales, but I mean, here we're here with twenty sales. Thanksgiving morning, we got a whole bunch, and yeah. then we had a little lull, and then we had more while people were and eating. And then over the night, we got some more. Yeah. So. so we think it really helped, and we're like excited about that. Like just doing something different, and yeah. then in watching his video. Should we talk about the third thing or should we have them go watch his video? Go watch his video. <laughs> he can go watch his video. He did we a, haven't done it yet, so we don't know if it works. He did a third thing that we've talked about in the past and, and we're usually involves, against us. It involves against it. Re relisting. Delist and relist. Yeah. Is what it involves. So go check out his video. It's in the... Yeah, I'm going to drop a link. We've never seen him before. We ended up watching a couple more of his videos. We really like him. Yeah. Seems he he's fast paced. He's he's seems down to earth. Yeah. I mean, I really enjoyed him. You might you might not, but we'll put the link to that video in the description if you want to check it out. Yes. But then the last thing that he talked about we're going to do um, after this sale is over and we'll get into that in a later video because yeah. it's something against what I yeah. what I've always said. So. Yes final thought is you can seek opinions you can seek advice from other resellers or from YouTube channels they does not that does not mean you have to do what they say but it's also always good to get other opinions yeah, just oh to yeah. see what you think of them and we appreciate it when viewers put comments send us emails and tell us new yeah, ways when, to do things when you guys put a comment and you say we did something you would have done it differently we yeah. don't take that negatively at all no. we take that as a a different perspective and we're totally cool yes. with that and jen from hokey okey thank you thanks thank for sending you. that we, we that was great like it's okay we got to watch that and it was a new different uh, view on things but in the end you can take all these information and you can do whatever you want with it you don't have to follow any of it do what works for you mm -hmm. but always be willing to just look outside the box and see what else goes yeah. on just like you know another example of outside the box I never, ever, ever would have set up in a Bonanza account. Yeah, I didn't even know what Bonanza was. <laughs> Banana, Nana, Nanza. But it was Corey from Grams and Pops that talked about Bonanza, and so I messaged him, and I was like, how does this work? And he's like, dude, it's really simple. Just do this and this and this. And so we did it. It and lists you know what? for you. Like, you don't even have to list yeah. it. It lists from your eBay for you. So check it out. And so thanks to doing that and listening to another reseller and just thinking, okay, you know what? I'll try that. You know what? We have a Bonanza sale, and you know where it is? Neener, 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 <laughs> right here. The Fitz and Floyd cookie the, jar. Yeah, the Fitz and Floyd cookie jar sold on Bonanza for, I'm going to get, it's $120 and some cents. Yeah. And it's going to Colorado, so we are sending that out today. Yay. Another big item for me. Look at them big items <laughs> piling up over there. And since you're over here anyway. Yeah. Got a uh, buck. A this big was, book. This was a book. It's a hardcover book for a comic book from the book buyout that we did. And that sold for nine dollars seventy four. And notice cents. the cute little puppy on the front cover. <laughs> nine seventy four and it's going to Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're halfway done with all the orders pulling. Let's pull the rest of them. Box eighty is next. Uh, in here, you're looking for a coal car, a train coal. Is car. it him? That's that is not him. <laughs> um it's not the chain. It's not the train. It'll be a car. There you go. Chugga chugga. Choo choo. There you go. This is a 1980s New Bright uh, coal car Christmas train piece. Uh, this came from. Do you remember Donna when we bought a storage we unit also off have of a Facebook? Choo -choo. Yes. Oh yes, we bought a storage unit off of off Facebook. the dollar auction. Yeah. yeah. And Larry helped us clean it out. Yeah, and we probably overpaid for it, but that's okay. We made money on it, and this sold for $14 right here, plus shipping, and it's going to Tennessee. Okay, Donna, let's go to get Taylor Swift. We got, I, is it in the box? We got a Taylor Swift CD. It's in the drawer. Uh, we're looking for red, Taylor Swift red well, right I love, there. I love Taylor Swift. And that sold for $12, and it's going to Ohio. Okay. On the last video we showed this, and I really did not enjoy shipping it because it didn't fit in the box I wanted to use, and we sold another set in box LW. This is like the third set of these because we had a set sell, and then I found them again at another garage sale, so I bought them again. 
to Steve's chagrin, uh, another set. But they are the milk glass, and I'm not going to unwrap them. Yeah, we'll pull, pull a up picture. a picture up. And this one, because of the coupon, is sold for $18.89, and it is going to Maryland. Next is a really cute buy item in box R6. Me? You'll like this. Oh. <laughs> R6. This is from the Turtle Buy. <gasps> He's so cute. Yep, this is a neat piece. Look at that. It's pretty. When he's on, his the light comes through the glass. Ooh. Yeah. Should we plug it in? Sure. Should we show him? This is a lamp. It's a Tiffany-style turtle lamp right there. There's the light bulb. Let's plug it in for him. Isn't he pretty? There you go. Oh, look at him. He would make a perfect cool? night light. Oh, it's even better. Yeah. Oh, it's even better. I don't think I can show you more off right now. But yeah, really cool turtle lamp right there. Yes. So, Tiffany style anything usually does pretty good. Tiffany style, even yeah. if it doesn't say Tiffany. Yep. Uh, let's go to box 71. 71. This next item has a famous quote. And I believe the quote says something like, Marshmallow Man. <laughs> Is that it? Nope. No, he's not a marshmallow oh, man. Oh, it's a dough boy. Yeah. <laughs> We have a marshmallow man and a dough boy. Yep, well, we had. Now we don't have a. You, you go like this. Hee <laughs> Should I do it to you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> there he is. He is a coin bank, a little ceramic coin I bank. I found the plug. Did you really? Yeah. Well, that's cool. Should you I go get it? it? Uh, we'll get it later. We'll add it to it. But $14.24, that came from a clean out, and that's headed to Washington right there. Yeah. That's how it happens when you do clean outs. Sometimes you find pieces and parts in other parts of the house. Yes. Next in box five is from Junk Jaunt. Junk Jaunt. All right, in here you're looking for Eeyore. Eeyore! Look, you guys, I have a bunch of these. We have Thumper. We have, and these make super Christmas presents. We have Tigger. What are they? They are little Scentsies. For babies. Okay. See? Oh, there he is. And he has a little rattle. Oh, cool. And he smells good. And the scent is on the front. All right. I'm smelling. <laughs> yep. Smells good. But he makes, they make great presents. We, on Junk Shot, came across uh, a lady who used to be a dealer. A dealer. A Scentsy dealer. <laughs> and she had a bunch of stuff. And so we bought her out. We bought out. Yes. And so with the coupon that's with the coupon that sold for eleven dollars eighty nine cents, and it is headed off to Illinois. And we even have Piglet. Yeah, Piglet. Three more things. First things in box thirty one. Thirty one for the second time. This is today. from a clean out. This is a, you're looking for an ashtray planter top hat. Top hat ashtray planter. Black top hat ashtray. Right there. There it is. The little black little planter ashtray whatever you want to do with it uh sold for 18 dollars, and it's going to arizona nice. next up is one of my favorite things to sell it's in me? box lj i don't sell you honey thank goodness nobody'd buy me oh whatever LJ. i'd pay a lot for that woman i'm telling you right now i do pay a lot for that woman <laughs> i am not expensive your daughter is expensive you're not expensive except your coffee habit when we travel i i don't drink coffee so i think prices of these foo-foo coffee drinks are ridiculous but you know whatever i like my wife this, happy this is another reason to become a reseller and work for yourself why because you save a lot of money on coffee yeah that's i used to go every morning before work because i had to have my vice to get through the day yep and now i make my own yes all right one of my favorite things to sell we sold another set of the erasers that we got from air park yes we did these suckers are super rare we have a bag full and i don't know that there's any other out there <laughs> anywhere that Do i can know? ever find i think i told you this before but in germany these are called rubbers there you go because fantastic, they rub out mistakes fantastic 1970s uh eraser lot sold for 
15. 15. I actually sold with the coupon, so it was 1350. Yep. No, it sold for 15. No, but look down below, they took the coupon off. Okay, so it says it sold for 15 and it is going to California. But I think it was 1350 after the coupon. Yeah. Yeah, discount of $1.50. So all the prices I'm telling you I don't know if they were showing the coupon off there or not. So No, it shows yeah. it down below and where they pay. It shows it down below okay. where they pay. So I'm thinking that when we do um, our taxes or, you know, bills, we're going to have to call it an expense. For the discount? For the, the discount, coupon? yes. Okay, whatever. I don't do the bookkeeping. She does. But I know some of these prices were, I was giving you, were after the coupon. And some of them, it looks like, were before the coupon, I think. So maybe, that might not be also. I don't know. So it's either what we're telling you or it's 10% less. <laughs> it's either what we're telling you or it's not. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, last thing. One last thing. This is in box 108. Okay. This one was way high up. And this is an interesting little cute little hedgehog. It's wrapped in plastic back there because it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to call her out. This came from Steve's sister. Girl, what are you doing? <laughs> these things are pokey. It's a massager. It's got these little pokey, it's like a flower thing, but they're really sharp points. Yeah, you're, you're supposed, supposed to, to use it and massage. Oh. Okay, I get it. But they're pokey. <laughs> and he sold for $33.24, may, maybe 10% off of that. Uh, $33.24, and he's going to Pennsylvania. <laughs> He is all but new, I think, isn't he? Pretty new. All right, that is it. That is it. That is it. I got a lot of work to do. I got some big things to ship. Yeah. I got some little things to ship. I got a lot of things to ship. I got to go list some more stuff to ship. That's right. Uh, and we're going to try. I'm going to try to get this video out today because we want you to see this so you can know that we're running a sale and we're running a coupon. So if you do want to shop our store, now is a great time to do that. Yes. So. And remember, if you want to support the store at all, we don't do a buy me a coffee thing because I don't know how. So we have, I forgot. We have cup cozies, we have slippers, we have washcloths, and we have afghans. So just search Happy Heart Treasures and yep. you'll find them. Yep. So that's it. Remember to leave your name where you're watching. The name don't matter. Take two. Remember to leave <laughs> where you're watching from in the comments and we'll get you pinned on the map. Yes. And other than that, we appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for watching. Yes. And Donna always likes to say. Like and subscribe and share with your friends. <laughs> Yeah, all that stuff. Thanks for watching, everybody. We're Happy Our Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We'll see you next time. Bye.